Shopify Starter Plan Review. So as you can tell by today's video title, we've got some exciting news because Shopify has a new plan called the Shopify Starter Plan where you can actually sign up. Again, I'm gonna provide a link down below to this as well, by the way. But essentially you can start up and get started with Shopify for only $5 a month, which is absolutely crazy. So um, again, I'm gonna leave a special link down below in the video description for you. But basically to the best of my knowledge, it seems to be a replacement for Shopify Lite. And it's just crazy, crazy news because again, if we go over to Shopify's original website, and if you do want just a free trial of Shopify, just their regular plan, I'll provide a link down below to that as well. But if we go over to the normal price and like the most popular plan, like basically the cheapest plan normally is only going to be $29 a month. So the fact that you can get Shopify starter plan right here for only $5 a month, which is going to be their new plan, is just absolutely insane. Again, if we go to the website, which I'll provide down below in the video description for you, this is what it looks like at the time of calling into today's video. You can click on get started right here for free and you can start your free account. So get started for free is what they're saying right here. So you can put in like where your business will be located. So in the United States in this case, as an example, and then you can create a Shopify account. You can continue with email, Apple, Facebook, and Google. But I'll get back to that in a second, actually. I want to scroll down below right here. So it goes over like all the information right here. So you can jump straight into selling. So we've started, you can, your store is ready to go in just a few clicks. And selling power, powered for social. Monetize your link in bio. Grow as you go. It has a bit of an FAQ right here as well. So what is the startup plan basically? Well, the startup plan is the easiest version of Shopify at five USD a month. You can create a starter store in minutes powered by Shopify's industry best checkout experience. The startup plan is ideal for selling products through social media, email, SMS, WhatsApp, and anywhere else you might want to share a link to the product. Plus, you don't have to spend a lot of time and effort setting it up and with optimization for mobile devices, the startup plan makes it easy for customers to make purchases wherever and whenever they find your products. You can obviously upgrade, so they go over, can I upgrade to other Shopify plans? And they say when you and your business are ready for more selling features, customization, and sale channels, you can easily upgrade to different Shopify plans that fits with your needs without losing your orders, data, or settings. So if we go over here, like I said during the start of today's video, there's other different plans you can upgrade to later on, but um, the fact that there's like a $5 a month plan is pretty crazy. And obviously it goes over like, yeah, basically the $5 a month plan and the transaction fees are only 5% when you use Shopify payments. So yeah, let's go back to this section right here and let's just sign up. So this is what it looks like and I just want to go for a bit of an example. So I've just put in my email right here and I'm going to put in an email address right now. Click on create Shopify account. And there you guys go. As you can see on screen, we have a free trial for the Shopify starter plan. And obviously after the trial period, it's gonna be like $5 a month for this particular plan. But isn't that just insane though? Like right off the bat, I've just shown you basically that you can get a free trial for the $5 a month plan, which is just, again, just so crazy to me that you can get it for that cheap. If we go over here, we can obviously customize our online store. So we can have a preview of the current theme and we can actually manage to brand it as well. So we can customize our store and make it our own. So we can add our logo and all that type of stuff right here. Change the colors, the cover image, slogan, short description. So we can do all of these little things to basically customize our own store, which is excellent. And we go back over here there's a lot of other different features we can do here as well marketing analytics finances customers products orders so very 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 cool stuff and we can obviously remove the password for our online store as well if you're looking to get started doing that and yeah there's lots of different things we can do to customize the store we can obviously put in our own title in the description this is all pretty basic stuff i just want to go over it briefly as well so you can like have a bit of a preview and see what is actually inside of this plan as well so yeah very very cool stuff you can obviously go through all this in your own time so it has a bit of like a setup guide as well so add your first product name your store add brand assets that's very 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 important set up shopify payments remove your store password like i just briefly went over before you can remove your store password and then you can share your products to the world basically whether that's through tiktok instagram uh you know youtube or anything like that anywhere where you can basically like get your message and your product out there to the world you can go ahead and share your products and start collecting sales and potentially earning you know some money 
um, of your brand new store inside of Shopify. Now, what I also wanted to go over in today's video, which I think is very, very, very important, is the starter plan and the basic plan. So if we go over here to the upgrade, we'll obviously cover this in today's video already. And we've kind of went over the pricing plans right here. There's three different pricing plans with different benefits. The more you pay, the more features and the more benefits you get. We have other videos on the YouTube channel that go over the different pricing plans for Shopify in a lot more detail. So feel free to watch those videos after watching this. But if we go back over here, and this is what I wanted to cover in today's video as well, is how is the starter plan different from the basic plan? Well, the Shopify starter plan is a lightweight way to launch a business or test sales ideas without spending too much time or startup capital or building a full website. So if you're doing like a drop shipping product or quite frankly, you just wanna like, you know, test out a product in the marketplace to see if it converts well, whatever your intention may be, I think the startup plan will be a great way to go ahead and do that for the cheapest price possible without investing too much capital in the software. And then as you're gradually like growing your business, you can easily upgrade to other different Shopify plans and you can shop upgrade to the basic plan if need be and even to the other advanced plans right here in the future if that's what you wanna do. And you'll be able to get more different like benefits and features with each individual one. And you can definitely consider doing that. Okay, so getting back over here with the starter plan, you can get access to essential features like product pages, checkout, inbox and link pops so you can start selling right away. Even if your only device is a smartphone, and then once you've established a custom base and proven that there's demand for your product again, the whole purpose, in my personal opinion, to go with the starter plan inside of Shopify is to really see if there's gonna be demand for your product. So really just put it out there in the marketplace, see if it's getting results for you, then you can obviously expand and grow your business by upgrading to the um, existing Shopify plans if that's what you wanna do. So getting back onto this, you may want to explore the Shopify basic plan, which includes value-added features like theme editing, blog posts, and more. So we obviously went through the dashboard inside of Shopify starter plan and like what's actually inside. So we can't actually edit the actual theme, unfortunately, but we can customize and add our own logo and all that type of stuff to really make it our own. But these are very limited in comparison to Shopify's basic plan and all of the other plans right here as well. So just keep that in mind. Keep in mind that there's a 5%. So if we go over here, how much does the starter plan cost? Yes, it's gonna be only $5 a month USD, but if you're getting like a lot of sales, start the starter plan, it's gonna be a 5% transaction fee. So um, definitely in my personal opinion, I think anyone will probably agree with this, is that if you're definitely making like good money with a Shopify starter plan and you're getting like a bunch of sales and growing your customer base, then probably definitely worth upgrading to the other plans. Um, just based off the fact that, well, there's a 5% transaction fee, so you're going to be losing a big chunk of money just on that. So it'd probably be a bit better to upgrade down the line if that's what you're going to be doing down the line. Like if you're getting like a lot of sales, probably just better to upgrade is what I'm saying. Um, but if you're starting out and you want to test an idea, then I think this day our startup plan is going to be more than sufficient. And then how do you sell on social media? And there's plenty of ways to sell on social media. You can even sell via your website or if you have like a blog as well, um, that's probably more advanced. You don't have to do any of that, but I know people that um, yeah, do online advertising, they do PPC, they have like different websites that rank on Google, so they get traffic on that. Or you can just like basically go on YouTube and promote your products and create like a YouTube channel as well. Um, YouTube is probably the best way to make money on the internet. Well, that's a whole different topic, but basically it's the best way to advertise your products out there, in my personal opinion anyway, from my experience. Well, basically the sky's the limit, so up they go over here basically. Um, not everyone finds the audience at a store on Main Street these days. The biggest bunch of customers you'll likely find is on social media. The Shopify starter plan and innovative tools like LinkPop can help you sell on social media quickly and easily, even in addition to the social sales channels that you might already have set up on Shopify store. Startup plan gives you the payment processing power and security of Shopify. So don't hesitate to share your products through social ads, Instagram stories, DMs, tweets, and anywhere else you connect with your so basically yeah anywhere you else you connect with your audiences okay but yeah there's heaps of ways to basically like advertise and to get your message out there on the internet so yeah how do i sell on chat dms or forums so they go over here how you can basically easily sell your products virtually anywhere you can post a link sell through direct messages on whatsapp with potential customers reach out with questions link to your products during live chats on instagram or even find forums where people are discussing products like yours and provide a handy direct link to buy now it works everywhere so you can sell anywhere and yeah i definitely wanted to go over this in today's video because it's obviously an amazing opportunity for especially if you're like on a tight budget as well and if we scroll down below there's one more thing i want to cover as well so what does a starter plan actually 
include. Shopify startup plan includes just what you need to start selling your products to audiences on social media. So basically all these different platforms and basically it includes a simple storefront, limited product pages, fast and secure checkout, contact page for customer inquiries, link pop, so the link in buy tool design for commerce, access to Shopify apps, Shopify order management and integrated fulfillment network. So yeah, it's not bad. Like, again, for the price, it's just really, really unbeatable in my personal opinion. But like, yeah, definitely an interesting plan. And I wanted to make a video for you guys who um, are on my channel and watch my videos because I feel like a lot of you guys will be interested in this type of stuff um, or this particular product that Shopify is offering right now because of just how cheap it is and the opportunity um, to really get your foot in the door for a very, very cheap price. So. Um, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you did find value, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to more Shopify and entrepreneur type of content on the channel. Um, again, I will provide a link down below to Shopify starter plan in the video descriptions for your convenience so you can check it out for yourself. And um, yeah, thanks for watching today's Shopify starter plan review video. Cheers.